And with a history of traffic infractions behind bars tonight after a judge deemed him a danger to the community today. This coming less than a week after an exclusive First Coast News investigation uncovered that man's troubling driving history. His record includes decades of traffic infractions, including more than 40 traffic tickets. But the most severe, an accident last April that nearly killed the 23-year-old you see in this picture here. He has devastating burns, over 93% of his body, and doctors have had to do several amputations. On your side, Brianna Ray Turner was in the courtroom today as that decision was handed down. That courtroom was packed with supporters of this young man. He is still fighting for his life. And Brianna, this has to be so difficult on this family. Yeah, Jeannie, that's right. Gavin Conroy's family tells me um, he just underwent another surgery last night. It's his 27th since the car wreck in April. They say each day is still devastating, but they are thankful today's decision will keep the man charged on, um, in the crash off the streets. Family and friends gathered at the Clay County Courthouse, a show of support to get Clifford Ringer off the road and in jail. I just feel a little bit of relief knowing he's off the streets, knowing that he's finally behind bars, which is where he should have been in the first place. Prosecutors filed a motion late Friday to revoke Ringer's bond, noting he received another traffic ticket as recently as July 2nd for allegedly running a red light. Prosecutors claimed he was in violation of the terms of his pretrial release. Your Honor, frankly, this is such a face to the state attorney's office, to the victim's family, to the victim, uh, and to this court. We have an individual who continued to drive not following the laws of the state of Florida and continues to put the community in danger. Ringer is charged with two counts in the crash, both related to driving on a suspended license. He has pleaded not guilty. First Coast News determined that Ringer had his license suspended almost continuously since 2005. However, at the time of his July traffic ticket, his license had been reinstated. Ringer's attorney argued the ticket was a civil violation and not a criminal one and told the judge Ringer would willingly surrender his license in court. Circuit Judge Don Lester rejected the offer from Ringer's attorney and revoked his bond. My nephew is in the hospital fighting for his life, 27 surgeries, amputation of the legs, amputation of the fingers. That's why we've been here. That's why we've been, we've been demanding justice, demanding he gets off that road. Gavin Conroy's aunt Stacy Whitlatch, who you just heard from, says um, uh, he's still unable to talk Gavin, but he is able to mouth some of the words to communicate. We will, of course, continue to follow this case in the newsroom. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side. Brianna, thank you. We are following.